and gadgets over a dollar, but some of y'all men's, some of y'all's men's, and some of y'all's women's is walking around here with incurable STDs and a pet on a Megan's effing list. They're pedophiles, they're rapists, they're drugging women out here, and y'all don't do this much background research, but somebody simply says, if you can give a dollar, please do so. That's all I ask. You don't have to do it. You didn't have to say anything. You could have just kept it pushing. But what I saw in the comments, first of all, let me stop being so negative really fast. <gasps> thank you so much, Billy. Everybody say thank you to Billy. Much love, Billy. Thank you. Much respect to you. I'm over here thanking. I I'm just like overwhelmed because a lot of you guys were so supportive. Like you guys don't know how much it helped that you guys were referencing certain jobs and like, uh, hotel vouchers and you guys saying hey I couldn't give much but I gave something that means so much to me that she is able to have uh, a, a room to sleep in for the night or that you guys gave an effort you don't have to give a thousand dollars or whatever but at least you acknowledged it and if you couldn't give money you gave a recommendation that to me spoke volumes but some of you disgusting individuals who don't even really deserve to even me give you my 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 acknowledgement of you. You deserve for somebody to have to come and, and you know, you need to be humbled. You need to be in her predicament. That's what some of y'all deserve. Thank you so much, Latavia Washington. Much love to you. Some of y'all really need to know what it feels like to have to be destitute out here, living in a car, embarrassed, not knowing if the police are gonna, you know, arrest you, not knowing where your next meal is gonna come from. Some of y'all really need to hit this road hard out here because it's effing disgusting that somebody that didn't even ask me for money, she simply came to me asking for a freaking job. She didn't beg, she asked to work and you're still skeptical. But y'all always want to talk about how black people don't help each other and black people need to support black owned businesses. I turn down thousand dollar deals almost every freaking day. A company that is comparable to Fashion Nova. They're one of Fashion Nova's freaking competitors reached out to me asking me to do a swimsuit on my channel, a swimsuit uh, try on. I really and truly doubt that they ask you to do it for thousands of dollars because First of all, your channel's not big enough. Number two, you, your channel's not significantly big enough and you don't have the voice, you don't have the charisma to do those kind of advertisements. Stop lying. Whatever. But because I don't believe in that, I'm not going to degrade my, my brand in order to show my behind half naked on here on any platform. I don't give a F. Putin told you that. I but, you were web, but you were a webcam model before. I've done webcam modeling. It's an effing lie. But these brands are not black owned. And they Oh, webcam modeling's a lie? All right, all right, sure. <laughs> but we got video of you saying that you are a webcam model. You said that shit, man. You he stopped me asking me to model their attire. And I said, no. These brands reach out to me asking to wear their freaking hair. And because they're not black, I said no. So I support black owned businesses and black owned people. And if a black person reaches out to me and it's legit, I'm going to help them. And y'all still mad. You're still mad. Thank you so much, Scarlet Combat. It is sad. It's so you're so full of shit. <laughs> She's so full of shit. She is asking for that money for herself. The money, the cash app that she is using is a pseudonym. It's under her actual bank account. You know when you donate the, to the cash app? It will actually go to Paris Milan. There is no person that she's actually got like a subscriber that's actually in trouble and needs money. This is all a scam, you guys. Paris Milan is scamming you people gullible subscribers that don't know shit to giving the money to her the money's going to her account not to her subscriber that's homeless and living in her car it's bullshit can't you guys see so effing sad thank you so much jamaican cute gal and thank you rita and thank you r parker but i want to show you guys some of these people how disgusting they were much love to you man this bitch is disgusting if it is actually true that she is using that, this, you know, this call for help and this bullshit 
to like take advantage of her subscribers, then she really needs her ass whooped, man. Because that is so disgusting and just downright diabolical for her to come up with such a disgusting, dirty scheme like that. It just makes me see how low someone can actually go. Because I'm more than 80% sure because... She hasn't provided any proof that that money is going to her subscriber, first of all. You know when you ask for someone to donate, you show receipts. You show, you know, you show some type of proof that the money is going to where you are donating. You don't just blindly donate a dollar to someone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to know where the money is going, right? You can't just donate. I mean, you need to know where the money is going. You need to be held accountable, man. If we don't know where the money's going, we're not going to give you the money, man. She's so dumb. These people are coming on here showing their cash apps like, oh, yeah, she need help. But while you at it, here is mine. They're over here upset. They're accusing this person of being a fraud. And I understand there are so many people that are freaking frauds on here. Thank you so much, Sweet Pea. I appreciate all of you guys. There's a lot of people running scams. But it's something about this person in particular. I know that it's genuine. I just couldn't see her, uh, you know, formulating this plan to ask me for work. It, it I would have been more skeptical if she asked me for money. But she didn't ask me for that. So how dare you cast judgment on her when you're not in her shoes? You at least have a warm, you have a house to live in. You have a bed to sleep in. You have a car. You have kids. You're surrounded by love. She's by her freaking self. What more? You're lying, Paris. You're lying, man. I can tell you're lying because when you ask for some type of donation, you set up a GoFundMe, right? That that would make sense. I would understand that. If you set up a GoFundMe, if you send, send it to a PayPal account with her picture on it and her real name and her address and all these other information that you need to know when wait, where the money's going. You need to know where the money's going. You need to know where the paper trail is going. People are not just going to blindly donate. Well, I mean, you know, people that actually have functional brains that work. You know what I'm saying? Actually critical thinkers, which I don't think many of your subscribers are. Many of your subscribers are made up of pro-black male simps and black women that swirl and black women that are of the darker hue, like, you know, kid organic, let's just say, and a lot of just feminists on your channel. So... I don't expect these people to actually have critical thinking skills and think about where they're donating their money, you know what I'm saying? Do you want do you want her dead? Is that better for you if she would if she was to die? Would that make you feel better? Thank you so much, Life Love. I See you guys, did you just hear how she said would it make you feel better if she died? See that isn't exactly a very I mean it, it might work for some people. It's a way to, like, shame people into sending her money. Now, see, she's using emotion to try and, you know, to try and, you know, inspire people to send more money without actually doing their fact-checking. See, when you, when you, when you, when you, you know, go to emotion to try and inspire donations, people are going to ignore facts. They're going to ignore rational thinking skills. They're not going to think rationally and think, oh, Where's my money going? No, you see, she's gonna he's gonna see the emotion. They're gonna the emotion comes up, they're gonna be like, oh, maybe she's in trouble. Maybe this, maybe this is actually real. So I'm gonna take a chance and give a dollar. But see, people that actually have brains like me, I would never donate to something without knowing where the money's going, period. I wanna show you guys some of these comments because I was gonna block them and I said, you know what? No. I want to show you guys these people. So you got this broad here, you know, Inspector Gadget number one, the PI number one. How do you know if this is true? If people asking to, to cash at, if you read, she didn't ask for money. I was the one that did this. I put my neck out there for this. I thought that, hey, let me do something good. I don't want a black woman living on the effing streets. She could get raped. She could get robbed. Somebody could steal her car. Somebody could break in and kill her. Anything could happen to her. And I said, I want to help her. Thank you so much, Margaret. As a person who has suffered through homelessness, I know how hard it is. That is actually a good question. You know, Kim Chandler, she actually had a good question. How do we know this is to be true if you're asking people to cash up? See... See, she didn't, Paris Milan did not expect 
that to happen. She thought, you know, not everyone on her channel and not every one of her subscribers are dumb. You know what I'm saying? Some people actually have, you know, a brain and they use it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ask things that need to be asked when they want to know what's going on. They're not just going to give the money to someone without knowing where the money's going, right? They're not just going to believe whatever you say, okay? And she posed a very good question. Now, Paris Milan ostracized her. And she, uh, you know, she's appealing to emotion now. You know, clearly appealing to emotion, not fact-checking her answer. It's out there. I became homeless through medical reasons. I hope she gets... See, you guys have a heart. Thank you so much, De Silva and Rochelle. You guys have... Appealing to emotion again. Appealing to emotion. And since the majority of her followers are women, they're gonna disregard... Dis discard logic altogether. And just, you know, they're not going to use their brains. That estrogen, you know what I'm saying? The heart. You're not just looking at her and casting all this judgment on her because some people are actually mad that, that I didn't promote their cash apps. Thank you, Esmeralda and um, Tanisha. And it's not even me doing this just to say, oh, I want to be a good person. Like I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking this is what she's doing. Guess what, guys? Let me get, Let me break it down for you guys. So she posted on her community part of her channel, you know, when you can post something. She posted, uh, one of my subscribers is going through something and I need you to donate money to her cash app. See, all she gave the subscribers was a cash app to donate to. Now, that could mean a lot of different things. Number one, that could mean that she's genuine and that one of her subscribers actually need money, which is of a very low percentage, a very low chance that that is actually true because... You need to provide more information than just the cash app for people to actually believe you to th that that the money that they're donating is going to where they're actually to where you say it's going. The other scenario is that the cash app is actually Paris Milan's and she's using this, you know, little scheme as a front for her to actually pocket the money herself. Now, now, now see guys, if that is actually true, hold on, let me switch it around. Now, if that is actually true, then Paris Milan is dirtier and a bigger schemer than I actually thought. But it's not very smart because I thought I saw through your plan in a matter of seconds. As soon as I saw the video, I saw through her plan in a matter of seconds, guys. I used to live in a freaking van, okay? My mom and us, we used to be homeless, living in shelters, having to pee and F in bottles, having to beg for money from people, living on the streets. I know what the freak that's like. I know what it's like to go in a store and be embarrassed to have to use food stamps. And if the crap declines, everybody's looking at you like, oh my God, this broad is broke as F. I know what it's like to have holes in your effing clothes and your mom drawing little hearts and balloons on them so nobody can see the holes in your clothes. I know what that feels like. Appealing so to if I'm in a position guys. now where my Appealing circumstances have changed and I want to help somebody else, why would you knock that? So let's move on to facts. the next degenerate that is over here so concerned about me trying to be nice. And instead of them just saying, all right, well, I'm just not going to give no money. No, you want to sit over here and judge and, and you, you creating all these mathematical equations to add up how you can see if she lying or not. Thank you so much, Carrington Cooper and Misha E. Much love to y'all. Because I want y'all to see the type of people that we have in the black community that always want to talk about white supremacy and everybody don't help us out and we can't do this and we can't do that because X, Y, and Z. And the moment that somebody is grabbing you up to help you, you're still knocking that person down. That's disgusting to me. Hold um, on, what? One of the person said, what's your email address so I can Google pay her? The email address is Paris Milan, so... If you send the money to Paris Milan, the money goes to Paris Milan. Is there any way I can send you via email to transfer it to her, Paris? So someone's gonna trans someone's gonna send them okay, let me understand this. One of her subscribers is gonna send the money to Paris Milan, and then the subscriber in their mind believes that Paris Milan is gonna give the money to the person that is intended to go to? Seriously? The people are this gullible. People are actually this gullible. Wow. Wow. Let me go through them because it's a lot, a lot of comments. And I love you guys for supporting this person. Um, I don't want to give her name again because she did not ask me to give her name. But I just want to show you guys how these people 
um, are operating on my channel. And guess what? After this, they will be blocked. They, they definitely will be blocked. I was homeless with four kids. I just lost my job Tuesday. I definitely understand blessings upon much love to you. Um, Gene, I'm really, really sorry about that. Thank you. Crimson typhoon. Um, and if there was a way that I could help you too, I would also reach out to you and help you. Like, it's not just about me doing this because I just want to have my name out there and say that I'm helping people. This is legit to me. Um, hold on. Uh, much love to Lana. She says, this is my view. Thank you so much, Fearless Brittany and M. Roden and Maylee Scott. She said, this is my view to strangers. If you need it, great. If not, that's on you. I did my part and got my blessing. If a person is scamming you, it's their karma. Exactly. If, if she's lying about all of this, then that's going to come back on her. But I've seen her living in her car and somebody called. So the trade-off is that I give you the money, but then worst case scenario is that she keeps the money but karma i'm supposed to expect i'm supposed to as a rational thinking person expect karma to bite her in the ass if she's lying and she's pocketing the money no nah, no nah, that's not enough man that's not enough of a consequence man that's appealing to emotion yet again man like the police on her that's not an effing game um so this person here, it's nice you want to help parents, but some people have problems you can't just throw money at and everyone can't be helped. I mean, we have all been on hard times before, but really disgusting is F. You look like somebody then punched you in your face several F in times. Now, you as a black woman are made aware that another black woman is living on the street. She's living in her car. She's homeless. She didn't know where her next meal was going to come. And this is how, how much you have to think about this. This woman, if her car, she didn't have gas for her car, how was she going to so charge her? basically, she's talking shit to her subscribers that are questioning where the money's going and actually using their brains. But it's not. I've already told people this several times, that in California, if you make less than over $110,000, $120,000, you're considered low income. You're considered living at the poverty, free, below poverty. So you can understand that young black women out here are going to be suffering if they don't have employment. She's already reached out to the housing authority, the low income. Uh, she's really putting in work, you know what I'm saying? But she's just saying different things like uh, she probably thought of this scenario like a couple of days before, thought of different ways that people could question her. Now she came with a live stream to make things more official, you know, appealing to more emotion, appealing to more emotion, appealing to more emotion to try and get the women that subscribe to her and the people that she's hoping will donate to appeal to emotion rather than actually fact checking and looking at the facts of the scenario of her expecting them to donate, right? Like if you expect someone to donate, you have to give them more information as to where the money is going and you have to provide receipts, right? You can't just expect someone to blindly donate to something that they don't even know where the money's going. You know, you know, I mean, they think the money's going to where you say they're going, just to where you say it's going, but how are they supposed to know, man? I don't know if she's trying to get Section 8 or whatever the case is, but she's on a wait list. You guys are talking about the shelters. Those also have... That's disgusting to me. Um, she's homeless. Help. Uh, I, I want to get to these other comments. Uh, okay, this broad here. I have to say, and again, I don't know if she's mixed race or a light-skinned black woman or what, but why is it that women are, are trying to look down upon her the most? Why is that? Somebody says, I, I have to say this. This is the fourth and almost identical plea from a YouTuber asking to assist a woman in need using the almost the same word. <laughs> Although it is true we are all free beings and not required to give, it is fair to ask exactly who you are giving so to. See, if this that is a person scam, is actually it is disgusting thinking. and eats away at our collective trust in each other. This this is what I'm... you. If you need to gain somebody's trust for you to give them a dollar... Hell yeah, you need to gain someone's trust for you to give them a dollar. A dollar? That's money, man. So you think I'm going to give you a dollar just based on what you tell me? I want to know where the money's going. I don't care if it's a dollar. I don't care if it's 10 cents. I don't care if it's fucking one cent. I don't give a damn. Like if it's a dollar, I need to know where the money's going. Unless I'm just giving you out of the kindness of my heart, which I never do. 
you're probably going to be in her position. If I have to beg somebody to tell me your social security number, who is your boyfriend, what type of gas do you use? Are you using 87 diesel? What Do you speak Spanish? Are you gay, straight, whatever? Are you overweight? Are you skinny? Where's your family? If I have to ask all of that to give you an effing dollar, something is freaking wrong with me. And you think that I would take time out of my business? No, you need to ask all those questions. Day. I had another video that I planned to do yesterday, and I was so distraught after finding out what happened to that woman is that I, I couldn't even post because I was shaking up. And so for you to think that me... Out of all the different videos and stories that I have to do, that I'm going to take time to look on another YouTuber's page to copy the wording just in order to ask for some donations. You got me effed up. Royally effed up. I think that's what you've been doing, Paris. <laughs> Paris, you are scamming people, man. And I'm not, I can't prove it 100%, but there is enough suspicion for people to ask questions, man. It is what it is. We need to support ourselves. We're all we got. Much love to you, Aisha. Yes, each asking, oh, Paris, I, I'm sorry. Can you unblock me now? You may be the next one emailing me, asking me for help. And you better pray. All right, that's enough, guys. But anyway, seems like, yeah, I basically told you what you, I, I basically told you guys what I think. I mean, she's lying, man. She is scamming her subscribers, okay? Look at how many subscribers she has, okay? She has 77,000 subscribers, right? And apparently there was like probably a couple thousand people that saw the post. Like probably 2,000 people or 3,000. Now see, I'd probably say around when you're donating to something, probably only 20 to 30% or 10% donate. So let's run the numbers. That's $1. So that's like what... 10% of 2,000, 200 times 2, $400, $400. She could possibly get $400. That's, that's, that's decent, you know what I'm saying? But like, well, she could get $600, four to $600 just from this little bullshit. Or more, if 100% of the people that are watching donate a dollar, then she will probably get three thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, man. Just from one little scam, one quick scam. <laughs> so yeah, man. That's 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 interesting. Hey, the guy. What? Oh, that's it. Wow, she has a car. Really? Much love to you, Brooklyn-born XOXO. Shout out to all these beautiful black people donating to this woman without question. Right. But some of these people over here, it's in this one. This this one takes the cake. I don't see any negative comments, so I guess mine will be will get deleted as well. No, you're going to be put on blast. There are many more black women homeless and doing what they must to survive. How does a female not on drugs become, become homeless? Well, let me explain something to you. This is how effed up the game is out here in California. Unless you have a child to collect welfare on, unless you are disabled to collect SSI, Unless you are married to somebody that's wealthy. Much love to you, Calandra Books and Brandon Burr. This is why we need reparations, economic genocide, exactly. Unless you have all of these things in California, thank you so much, Jada Anderson. You're out, you're ish out of luck. That that's it. That that's pretty much She's so full of shit. Can't you guys tell? She's pocketing the money, man. But anyway, man, make sure to like comment and subscribe tell me what y'all think man do you guys think she's pocketing mother money or not i'm out peace